All right, so now we're going to talk about hashes. Okay, in the previous video, we talked about list, which are called arrays in crystal. So now let's say you have data, right? And you say, hey, I want to give a key and a value to each data. Okay, each property within a list. Okay, so how will you do this? Well, you use a hash. So for example, I'm going to say something like this. I'm going to say user one equals two. Now you use curly brackets. And then in here, you come and you use something like this. You could use either a string or you could use a number. So you could say something like this, like uh, first name, right? first name and then you say equals and then the greater than okay greater than and basically that tells it like hey this is a key and what coming up next is going to be the value okay so here you will say uh, something like this first name joe okay do this like this say last name okay put this in santos garcia okay then here you could put in another string of h equals to let's say 30 okay and you can also give it a number you can come here and say okay cool there's an age now here I'm going to put in uh, let's say 44 okay and put in Jay-Z Jay-Z's favorite number okay favorite number cool so we're gonna say 444 save that now to get access to this data right to do this is very simple all you have to do is use the variable you say user one and then now you pass in the key so you say first name just like that and you could actually print this out so i'm gonna create a a string so i'm gonna say put okay and we're going to put this in within strings. All right. Do us like that. Okay. And we're going to use interpolation. So we're going to say like that. Take this from here. Put inside here. Save that. And we're going to say something like this. Hi. And then say hi, Joe. Right, then we're gonna put in a new line. So I say hi, Joe, and then oops, take this thing over here, make sure you close it there. Okay, perfect. Okay, so you say hi, Joe. Um, how old are you? No, or hi, Joe, you are, let's say age you are 30 you can go clubbing and listen to 444 okay put in and oops and then you say which is then we're using interpolation again and we're passing in 444 okay so we're getting user one let me copy this user one okay same thing as here save that and then now we can run the code let me clear this it 
It says, hi, Joe. You are 30. You can go clubbing and listen to 444, which is JC's favorite number. OK, so I hope you guys understand what we just did here. We basically put in all of this information in a hash. OK, we basically have a key. We have a value. OK, you can also change and say, hey, this hash is only going to take in, let's say, strings. OK, so to do this, you will say something like this. You say of. Let's say string. String. So now. No overload matches hash string string with type string in 32. So we're getting some issues, right? And so it's just like a warning It's telling us like, hey, man, this doesn't match. Like it's supposed to be strings, but you're using uh, integers here. OK, so automatically it's going to give us that error. OK, now we can come here and do it like this Let's say. Let's say int 64. OK, copy this. Do the same thing here. Okay, and everything works. So now we're just telling it like, hey, this could actually take a string and it could take an N64 for the key. And for the value, it could take a string or an int 64. That's if you want to be explicit and tell it, hey, you could only use this types of, of data. Okay. So this is pretty simple, pretty easy. And hashes are very useful. OK, you can use any types of data and put it within the values. You could use an array. You could use a whole bunch of things like characters, integers, floats, uh, other strings. You could use nil, you know, use range, tuple, etc. You could use all of that inside of a hash. OK, so I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace.